All right, guys. So you know, I rank the I rank the master sets every single week, and I figure you know I might as well change things up when you have the opportunity. And I definitely know some people don't agree with my rankings, you know, every week. So I think I found someone to help me out to rank the Nations of Hockey Week Two event cards. <laughs> Oh, what's up? <laughs> All right, so my man Eki here, who doesn't always agree with my rankings, is going to go ahead and rank on our channel and tell us what five cards in order you should go with the new master set. So take it away, my man. Who are we getting in number five? Do I have to be closer to that? No, you're good. You're good, bro. Okay. You're good. Uh, I need to think first. All right, he's got to think first. All right, okay, can we talk about Crosby real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, so do you think that, okay... Crosby specifically, or do you think that, like, even just any smaller player? No. So, I think uh, Crosby is always fine in game. But I think he's all right. Yeah, yeah. I think he's all right. But, like, he's, he's one of the bulgier, like, Yeah, uh, like the bigger guys. Right? Yeah, 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 so yeah. he's, for example, I think he's pretty easy to stay on the puck with, mm -hmm. even though he's small, just okay. because of his weight. Yeah. And uh, that axe factor has unstoppable force. Do you like Unstoppable Force? Yeah, I do. I do in hockey. I noticed it with the team of the year, McDavid, that he would still get bumped off, but he's really the only one I've really tried it with. Okay. Um, what about some of the other smaller guys? Is there any other smaller guys that you would use as well as Crosby? Like, do you Can you think of any other smaller guys that you are okay with? Uh, not right now, but this Tarasenko is a great example. All right, so spoiler alert. All right, let's go. Give us your number five on this list. Like, who should we avoid out of these ones? Okay, so I, I don't like this Fiala card. Okay. So He'd like, be number five. Yeah, so I think you you agree with me here. He's yes. a bit too small. At 5'10", it is very tough. We're at the yeah. point now where he's going to get knocked off pretty easily. Yeah, and he's 198. Yep. LBS, not... Not that much. He has unstoppable force, though, so who knows? Who How knows do you feel running? about wheels? Do you think it's worth the 10? <sighs> I'm okay with wheels on guys that have, like, 97, 98, or 99 speed because there's no one else I can keep up with them. Yeah. But once they're in the middle 90s or, like, lower 90s, I find that there's no point because even with, like, let's say he has 94 speed and he has wheels on him, there's defensemen that have 94 speed. Mm. So I just find that it's not, yeah, but... I think, you're, I think you're right there. On the I, bigger one? On like I still defensive. think Wheels is one of the better... It's still, yeah, it's better. definitely one of the better ones. Yeah. Goal post to post has got to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's got to go. Everybody. Who's number four? So number four, uh, it's between Verensky or Pietrangelo. Okay. Verensky or Pietrangelo for me. All right, so either side, because they're, they're different sides, so... Can we both agree, can we agree that the first week defensemen are far better? Yeah, so for my team, for my GBC team, I'm really thinking of doing this lean up. He looks I, so good, man. Like, I don't think they're going to give gold shutdown to big guys anymore. Like, part of me thinks that, like, they just won't. Yeah, so this is a question for you. Do you think I should get this guy? Because I think for team of... Like, I'm really just waiting for Team of the Season to come. That's essentially, yeah, and he's not going to get one. I have a feeling that Team of the Season, like, they're not going to give gold shutdown to those guys. Yeah. I would, I think, the thing is that, that makes me kind of stop about Lindell is that he's going for, like, 700K. Yeah. Right? That's, that's a lot. Like, Bo Meester is going for, like, 400. That hockey roots Bo Meester is so good. But, all right, so, with Wierenski and, and Petrangio, would you make any of these ones? No, no, I wouldn't. Okay. I don't think. Uh, I don't think these are. If you think about the best possible teams, I don't think this. These are end game cards. They're yes. good right now. I agree. I think later in the year, there will be better ones. Have uh, you found D to D one timers to go in this year? I don't. I'm. I've never really trusted D to D one timers. I yeah. shoot them like twice a game. Okay. Okay. But, yeah. I just found they haven't really gone in. Even with one T. Kesso okay. thinks that they well, can't win one T. Benes gets gold one T. And you think yeah. that's good? Pens would love that. Pens, the <laughs> Pens. Junior Pens would love one T. Yeah. He does. All right, so, so Petra. I, I think Piet Rangelo is uh, three. Uh, four for me and Wierenski three. All right, so Wierenski three, Petra Angelo yeah. four. All right. Very so similar cards, though. But, exactly, yeah. yeah. All right, who's at two for you? Uh, Nekas. Nekas of two. 
Wait a minute. He looks. He Dude, looks... last I remember last year he had like a I don't know if it was a style icon no, or he, uh, one year I don't remember. Was it in twenty? It might have been fantasy. twenty. I remember one of his cards being cracked. Yeah, he had this fantasy card. I think yes, yeah, it was that fantasy, fantasy card. Yeah, yeah. six two. He's got good. I like his. Uh, I like the fact he's got elite edges too. And born. Yeah. I love born leader if they're high in your lineup. Dude, so. <laughs> I don't love board leader. It it only adds energy to your lines, right? It does, so you can throw your first line out again. Okay, yeah. So I don't I don't think that's that big of a deal. Anymore. You don't think so, eh? No, because okay, interesting. Especially in GBC, where where you have I four guess, yeah. lines, it doesn't really. Oh, okay, yeah. In that sense, yes. Yeah. So, but this is a very good card. Uh, Ninety four plus every important stat. Yeah, he has that thief, so because his face off rating is only 84. No, you have to play him at wing. I yeah, think. I think you got to play him at wing too. Six, two, that's good. There's a lot of right handed wingers, though. Yeah. But yeah, he is, is definitely there, number is two. Really? McKinnon? I mean, dude, like McKinnon, McKinnon Stamkos, Eichel, Ovi. Uh, then if you have Mario, Cairo, uh, yeah, Barzal, yeah. like, I, I, there's a lot of options. But yeah, this, this is a very good card. And this I think might, so too. This might be an end game card. This could easily go. Let's say third, fourth line. Okay, so yeah. See yep. So, looks solid. I can agree um, with you there. So, the yeah. number one. Number one, I would have Tarasenko. Yep. And uh, very similar stats. Yep. Very similar stats to Nekas. But he's 225. Yeah, he has wheels. The silver and, wheels, yep. Uh, let's see, does he have... He doesn't have speed, so he has spark. He's got spark, so he gets up to 96 accelerators. Yeah, I don't uh, think there's a lot of big left-handed wingers. Like there just doesn't yeah. like there's Rantanen if you don't have his team of the year though, like outside of that it's like Kaprizov, Kucherov they're all like under six foot right, yeah. but Tarasenko is really heavy at two twenty five. Yeah, exactly. He's easy to be on the puck with. Yeah, and uh, there's just guys in game that just at least for me personally Tarasenko has always been great. Yeah, he's one of those guys, but like. Tarasenko feels a lot better in game than his stats usually show. Okay. And, and there, there's cards for me that go the opposite way as well. But I do like Tarasenko a lot. And uh, this is a very intriguing card for me. Okay. Do you think you'll make this for your squad? <laughs> well, my team is pretty bad and I don't have coins, so I don't think I can. <laughs> uh, I have a bunch of... Um, you need to pull this for me. You're opening my chance. <laughs> oh, yeah, chance I'm factor. opening chance facts. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, maybe. I have a bunch of uh, players saved up, but yep. I think those are for team of the season. Team of the season, yeah, I agree as well. Yeah, It's close. Like I think that he's very, very good. I think it's going to depend. I think that if you have team of the year McDavid and Rantanen or let's say Duchesne and maybe you made Larkin too, I think it would be pretty tough to make him because he's going to be like third or fourth line compared to those guys. Yeah. like that. I just think week one was so much better than week two. Like, I think that both defensemen, like Holzer and Lindell, are better than the two defensemen we got this week. Yeah, and then Larkin, Larkin, are we in insane. agreement that Larkin's unreal? Like, he's, he's a... Yeah, he's insane if you look at the stats. Yeah, he's so good. Yeah. Have you used him at all? No. Oh, man. No. He is very, very good. And then, yeah, Lindell and, Co and Holzer are nuts, too. Yeah. But the, problem, the problem is I did my Xbox team two months ago, so my team is not that good. That's true, that's true. Yeah. That GWC life, it got you. Yeah. It got you. Yeah. All right, so, okay. So, Tarasenko is at one for you. Nages is at two. Uh, Wierenski is at three. Petro, four. And then Fiala, five. Yes. All right, there you have it. All right, so you mentioned something, um, like, that, that some of the top-end cards that you that are normally considered good in the community, but you say they don't play as good as they feel. Yeah. Right? Give me an example. Like, give me one off the top of your head that, like, a card that normally everyone likes but you don't think plays well. Uh, I think McKinnon in the past years. Yeah, so, uh, dude, I agree. I yeah. think McKinnon before is just so awful for some reason. Yeah, but uh, I liked him last year in the GBC, and this year he's, like, gone. This year, I think so, yeah. I don't know if it's the wheels or the skating style or what is it, yeah. but he feels a lot better. Okay. Um... Any defensemen that you can think of? Or maybe someone that plays really good that maybe is um, kind of underrated that you kind of look at like every year, like a certain card? Well, okay, this is a. Uh, well, Crosby and Bergeron are two centers, which I feel like they're AI. Okay. It, like feels very good in the defensive zone. They're okay, like, so you say that be, because like of like their defensive abilities and like their AI just like don't, they just yeah, cover the puck well? Yeah, their AI just are usually in the right place. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe that's just. Maybe that, it's that, all in your head, yeah, but maybe, maybe okay. Maybe it is, but like, no, I respect it. I respect it. Okay, 
All right, so, all right, I appreciate it. All right, we are gonna now, I'm gonna hop on your channel. We're gonna rip your champs yeah, pack. Yeah, for sure. For Let's sure. go. All right, dude, well, thank you, my man, for coming on and ranking yeah, the cards, man. I hope everyone enjoys it, and uh, hopefully you have good luck tomorrow. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs>